Hey, how's everyone doing? My name is Justin Mueller. We are recording in a different location. I'm usually recording at my desk. Now we're just recording here in my living room, just looking outside, beautiful sunny Florida. Uh, and I'm also here trading on my iPad Pro. I have it sitting right there looking at the market as I'm recording this. But actually today I wanna to talk about why most traders are addicted to scalping. Now there's nothing wrong with scalping. That's actually how I got my start in the market. That's actually how most people get their start trading in the Forex market. Scalping is a very attractive method of trading, mainly because trading, it's very hard to think like a swing trader because when you're trading, seeing your money go up and down so fast, there's something that triggers the thing in, inside of your head that just gets you excited. I think it's, yeah, dopamine. It, it creates this dopamine effect every time when you place a trade, when you see that money go up and down especially with a bigger account size. If you have an account size of like 5,000, 10,000, 100,000, and you're doing trades of like one lot, two lot, five lots, 10 lots, and even if you're not trading that much, let's say you have a $500 account, yet you're doing a mini lot or two mini lots, and you're trading a very volatile pair like GBP, JPY, or GBP, USD, and you see these, you see these you know, 50 pip movements in one hour, and you see your account growing by 100 or $200, it's very hard not to stop scalping because you see those quick returns or even those quick losses, but it creates that dopamine effect where you just wanna keep on being involved in the market. Now, the reason why most traders, in my opinion, uh, lose their money, I think the statistic is like 90% 90 per, 90 of traders lose 90% of their money in 90 days or less. It's like that or 80%, something like that. And I believe that that is 100% true, mainly because people always want to be involved in the market. Now, the downside about always being involved in the market is that sometimes you're being involved in the market when you shouldn't be involved. And that causes you to make irrational decisions. So a lot of the time, scalping is actually the downfall of most traders. So what I recommend people do if they're going to start trading is focus on trading with a swing trading mentality. Focus on trading with the mentality that you're going to hold this trade for a week or even a month. Uh, because in my opinion, that's the best way to trade, mainly because you're dealing with less psychological pressure to be involved in the market every single day. The easiest way to trade, especially if you work a nine to five job or if you're doing something and you're just trading part time on the side, the best way to trade, in my opinion, is you set a trade and you forget it. So you set it and forget it. That's why I recommended the app like Swiss Forex. You download it, you set up price alerts. So when price hits a certain region, then you'll be notified. So I just set up two alerts every trade. I set an alert for my stop loss and I set an alert for my take profit. So four days later, if I get notifications saying, hey, your USD hit this price, that's my take profit price. So I know it hit take profit. So that's the easiest way to trade and uh, the less stressful. So most traders are addicted to scalping mainly because of that dopamine effect where every single time they get into a trade, they just love seeing that number go up and down. And you have to get out of that. Even though it feels great to be involved all the time, that can be your big downfall. So just quick video today. I wanted to go ahead and talk about that really quick. And something, it's not that big of a deal, but at the same time, it is a big of a, it, it is it is a big deal because it causes a lot of losses. And trust me, like I said in my previous video, I've been there, I've done that. Don't get me wrong, I still do scalps here and there. But really, in my opinion, scalping is only beneficial once you have that bigger account size because you can actually profit off of those smaller movements. So if you have a small account and if you're scalping, you know, you're making a few pennies, a few dollars, yes, that can help you grow your account quicker. But when it comes to actually making money, it's more beneficial when you have a larger account size. Uh, if you're scalping 10 pips on 10 lots, you know, that's $100 per pip times 10. So that's $1,000 you're making just from 10 pip movement. So that's why I'm saying scalping really does become beneficial when you have a very large account size and you can place very big trades. But if you have a very small account size, you know, then you're just growing your account slowly by scalping, which is nothing wrong with that. But it really, it causes the wrong uh, frame of mind uh, for a beginner trader. So focus on swing trading, focus on even intraday trading. Uh, in my opinion, that's the best way if you want to go ahead and grow your profits. But I just wanted to talk about that. By the way, I'm recording from my iPhone. I got this new uh, iPhone stand. It's a selfie stick and a stand built into one. And it comes with this uh, Bluetooth controller so I can turn it on and off for the videos taking photos. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, just chilling here in my living room. And I'll see you guys in the next video, right? Take care, bye-bye.